ominous signs here for Bristol as Saracens pile forwards in search of that try bonus which should be scored here in the corner rounded off brilliantly by so it, Liam. Was a, it was a frustrating end to, to last season with, with injuries and, and, and stuff like that you've had the summer off um, you're back and, uh, and what a way to, to reintroduce yourself how, how, how are you feeling? Uh, I'm not feeling too bad, you know. Um, it's been a long time since I've since I've been on the pitch, so I think it's been about 14 weeks since um, since the end of last year, last season. So um, yeah, it's been had the operation on my groin um, seven weeks ago, so it was nice to be to be back out on the pitch. So you had, you had, a, had a bit of the summer off. Um, you, you feeling revitalised after you know a bit of a break? Uh, yeah, it was it was nice to get some um, R and R during the summer. Um, I had a couple of weeks off and then back to it. So um, back fit now and um, just r r ready to go. Wigglesworth alongside him, Liam Williams joins in to drive this one towards the corner. At the moment, Bristol are just about standing firm. Williams to Bunipola, Bunipola for the line, just short. Williams. Um, you couldn't have had many many better returns. Um, Obviously, a hat, hat trick on your on your on your return at Allianz Park. Uh, have you scored many many hat tricks in your career? Think back. I don't think I have. <laughs> the think, first one? Uh, well, uh, I've scored some for my local club back home in Swansea, like when I, maybe when I was about fourteen or fifteen, but um, not many that I remember. Obviously, the fans uh, obviously were very receptive. For you you coming back up, uh, back on the field from the from the bench. So, you, you pleased to you know get back out there in front of the home crowd? And how does it feel to get that kind of reception from from the fans? Yeah, it's great. Obviously, you know, I've been, as I said, I've I've been injured for a while now, and uh, it's nice to be back out there with the boys. But um, this, it's not all, it's not all about scoring tries. You know, it's about having that edge on the pitch and um, fair play to the boys inside me. You know, they they've done all all the work on the weekend, and uh, and I've ended up scoring three. You know, it's uh, it's a big thanks to them, and uh, it was a it was a good squad performance in, in the second half, and uh, we're happy to come away with the win. So this, that's two two wins, two bonus point wins at the beginning of the season now. But having obviously spoken to some of the guys, they're not overly happy happy with the performance still. Um, what does that say about the you know the high standards that this group sets here at Saracens? Of course, like, we always set high high standards, even if it's if it's out on a pitch or uh, on a Saturday or a Sunday afternoon. You know, we we always expect. Um, to be beating teams and uh, we, we 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 regard ourselves as the champions and um, you know we we go out there uh, week in week out and we uh, we try to beat teams and um, try and put as many points on as we can but uh, it's it's not all it's not all about that as you know we we try and go out there and try and get that those like feelings um, of playing well and playing well as a group um, so yeah the first two weeks has and. Uh, as a group, wise hasn't been that uh, great, but we've got we've got the results that we've we wanted, and uh, look, we're we're looking forward to this weekend now. Okay, of course, this um, weekend Northampton away. They just had a you know their first win of the season, a good win against Harlequins. They're such a tough tough place to go, uh, Northampton. You know, do you guys know that you've got to you know be on on top of the game to, to beat them at their place? Yeah, of course. You you have to be on your game against any, any, any team. I think in the in the English Prem, um, uh, especially Saints. You know, um, played played them a couple of times last year and uh, beat them reasonably well. But you know, um, they they've had a couple of new signings this year. So um, you know they'll they'll be a decent team, and as I said, uh, Middle boys can't wait to go up there on the weekend and uh, give them a shot. Of course, um, Wales and international uh, Dan Dan Biggers there. You're <laughs> looking forward to you know come come against him and maybe like down and chat with him after the game. Yeah, of course, he's a great bloke, Dan, and uh, I've played played with Dan for my country for a while now. So uh, it'd be nice to go up there, play against him, and. Um, uh, I'll have a catch up with him after the game and just hope he doesn't take too uh, many high balls uh, during the game.